Okay, I'm gonna uh, show you how I modify some of my training uh, blades uh, for Filipino martial arts. Uh, I have uh, cold steel products here. These are rubber training blades. Um, I like them because for thrusting, they um, they give. Um, they're not completely safe. Again, you always want to wear eye protection when you're training uh, with any sort of uh, mock weaponry or weaponry in general. Uh, but but when you, you thrust, they, they bend and they give. So these rubber trainers are good for that. Also, when you are training, when you're doing projectile training, uh, like throwing knives and whatnot, um, these rubber uh, trainers are good because they give. And if you miss or if you do hit uh, your training partner, they don't like do a lot of damage, unlike a real blade, obviously, and or a um, uh, aluminum trainer. Uh, so these are good for... Uh, training, uh, throwing uh, your blades uh, in a uh, uh, self-defense or, or, or self-defense uh, tr training uh, application. So this is the uh, Peacekeeper, I believe, um, model that uh, Cold Steel sells, and they're relatively cheap. They're like 12 bucks. Um, I like Cold Steel products, both their live uh, blades and their trainers and, and other and other uh, products, DVDs and stuff like that. They've got a lot of good stuff. I highly recommend Cold Steel. Um, but uh, I don't modify this design. I do like to have this design because it represents a larger knife, um, like a kitchen knife or a bigger Bowie or something like that, just a bigger knife. And I believe they sell a, a, a Bowie version of this. I've just never bought one. I, I, I prefer these. These represent kind of a saber tip, uh, and they, they, they have a double, a double edge, double blade, double edge here. Um, so that's what they represent as far as being, you know, uh, blade aware as what kind of uh, knife you're using. Uh, and what I'm going to be modifying is their Recon Tanto version. And the Tanto has a Tanto, the famous Japanese style edge, which is the Tanto edge, which has this sort of like um, edge at an angle or two edges here. And um, uh, this is a sing this is designed to be single edge, so it has one single edge here, whereas this saber tip here has an edge here and here. And um, this saber tip tends to be um, weaker uh, of a tip it tends to be prone to breaking if it were uh, if this was a real if this was a live blade uh, whereas these this type of Japanese style Tanto tip tends to be a little stronger as far as a tip is concerned at any rate I like to get both of these uh, to have as far as part of my training equipment uh, I like to um, take the Tantos uh, which are tend to be a little longer right I don't personally I, I'm I, I train for realism and you know of course there are cases where you might be um, attacked by somebody with a big large buoy knife or a kitchen knife uh, and again that's why I, I choose to get a and keep a big one but for the most part I um, uh, like to train for the regular kind of you know every EDC carry which this could represent but this tends to be a bit long right so what I do is I take these and I and I and I cut them down and then I uh, shape them. Uh, so I, I take about three inches off of the tip and then I shape them. So I have two that I've already done here uh, and um, these these work just well and they represent more of an every, everyday uh, uh, everyday carry style blade and I'm just gonna show you how I um, modify these and uh, what I do is I take uh, like these little silver sharpies. They're very excellent for putting your your mark on your training equipment, so you don't they don't get lost if you're training in a in a large facility with a lot of people. Um, and this kind of gives me a a profile or an idea of how long or where to mark this out, um, like so. And then what I do then is I take a um, a hacksaw or heavy duty snips, and I just kind of cut this at an angle so I've got a hacksaw here so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, go ahead and just kind of cut this off uh, let's be careful right here so I'm gonna cut my table and I'm cutting at an angle Go ahead. 
to take this off now we kind of have a rough edge here so then what I do is I take I have uh, two grains of sandpaper I've got 40 grit uh, and I've got 140 grit here and what I like to do is then I take my 40 grit and smooth off the edges here and also kind of shape the profile a little bit and shape the profile so I would like to smooth this out so I can, kind of do, I can do this on the sandpaper like so and then I take and I sand the edges off make sure that they're nice and smooth so that they're not too sharp and I have too much of a profile on them and that's with my rough my rough grain my 40 grit here nice and then to smooth it off or to make it look really nice I go ahead and I use my finer grit this 140 grit here and I refine my edges here and again these are the bench made or excuse me not bench made but they're the uh, cold steel uh, rubber trainers this is a Tanto Recon Tanto I believe is what they call it very good products I like cold steel a lot ordered a few of their products I do endorse them I like them uh, maybe if they get a hold of this video they might make a smaller uh, kind of everyday carry version of the rubber trainers and so um, that way I don't have to do this <laughs> uh, but at any rate in case they don't this is kind of how I'm this is how I modify uh, these recon tantos so that they are uh, more r realistic to the size of blade that you might and you know might, might encounter uh, and then I you know I like to keep a full-size one in my training training bag as well